Got his girlfriend from work? Mm. And you know, if you happen to know any wealthy clients who may need help with their finances. I will slip him your card. Janie, do you have a moment? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, you remember my boyfriend, Charles? Of course, it's good to see you again. Me too. And uh, this man we're schmoozing is Bill Rivers. President of Dinosaur Energy Drinks. That's right. I'm pretty sure the schmoozing will soon be over now that I become a client. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know, Janie loves your product. Before spin class, she always chugs a green tea Rex to help her power through it. Always have it to meet a satisfied customer. That's me. <laughs> I must say, I like the team you have here, Elle. I could use more sharp minds like hers. <laughs> well, Janie, before you leave for the day, can I steal a quick moment? Yeah, of course. I'll be back. Bill, well, just be a minute. Bill, Charles Miller, Miller Investments. Miller Investments? Can I talk to you about your portfolio? That true what your boyfriend said back there? You actually drink this stuff before you work out? No, you know me. When am I going to work out? <laughs> have a seat Janie you were amazing in that room Bill took such a shine to you I want you to take point on his campaign are you serious yeah oh. <laughs> okay great thank you no need to thank me you earned it in fact you know what I'm gonna get started right away hold on <laughs> I thought you would say that but listen I know that you're headed tomorrow back upstate to Woodland Falls right I'm sorry about your uncle, Randall, right? He's my great uncle, but thank you. He was a really special man. Take as much time as you need to get his affairs in order. Bill's out of town until Christmas, so you've got a couple of weeks. Well, I only need a few days. However, when I get back, I am going to L.A. with Charles for a week for vacation. So. Good. I cannot remember the last holiday where you didn't at least drop by the office. Seriously, enjoy your time off. Okay, I will. But I am going to bring my computer. Figured as much. I am proud of you. Thanks. It was a good day for me, too. I talked Bill into letting me look at his portfolio. Nice. Yeah, you and I make quite the team. Yes, we do. Speaking of which, have you thought any more about coming to Woodland Falls with me? You know, I would love to. I just, I have so much going on, and now I've got to meet with Bill. Mm, okay. Could you seriously see me on a farm? <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what? I haven't been there since I was 10 years old. I mean, maybe, maybe it's not a farm anymore. Maybe it's a resort. Spa. Oh, you know, I promise you, it sounds like that. It's going to be exactly the same. You know what's so weird, though? It's that it's only three hours away, but it just feels so far for me. Good news is you'll only be there for a few days. Mm. And seriously, how long can it take to pack up a farmhouse? Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave, get out of your hair, so you can actually finish packing. Mm. And I will see you in a few days. Okay, I can't wait. And then a week of poolside lounging. <sighs> See you soon. Good night. Thank you for dinner. Of course. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive the Lord. Welcome back, Jamie. Janie Collins. How long's it been? 20 years? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess so, Mr. Reynolds. Although, I, you have not changed a bit. <laughs> well, I'll try and take that as a compliment. And please call me Sydney. You're not 10 anymore. I know I mentioned this over the phone, but I can't tell you how sorry I am about Randall. He was more than just a client. He was a dear friend. Thank you. That means a lot. Anyway... Better take care of business. Randall provided a list of the valuables he wished to bequeath to his friends in town. As executor of his estate, everything else is up to you. Right. And I'll be here for a few days. So I'm going to pack up his things, and then I'll decide what to do with the rest. Sure. 
And, of course, your inheritance. I'm, I'm sorry, my inheritance? Mm-hmm. I didn't know I had an inheritance. Yes, I know. Randall, <laughs> he insisted I deliver this news in person. Now, Janie, I fear you may not be prepared for the magnitude of what he left you. He left me the farm? The land, the equipment, the farmhouse, everything other than what he specified in that first document, it's all yours. Okay, but what am I supposed to do with a farm? Whatever you want, it's yours. Keep it, hire someone to run it, sell it, which I'd be happy to help you with, if you like. Can I ask if he confided in you why he gave me the farm? Perhaps this can shed a little light on things. Randall gave me that, asked me to make sure it got into your hands. What is this? My guess, answers to your questions. Oh. I don't want any eggs. I don't need eggs. I, I'm just wondering what you're doing here. Janie? Yes. Are you Janie Collins? Yes. Wow. I mean, I haven't seen you in, in forever. You don't remember me, do you? Mm, no, should I? I mean, you spent literally like every day at my house as kids. You and my sister were inseparable. Are you Nicole's brother? Yeah. It's Dylan. Dylan, yeah, right. Wow, you... You don't look the same. Well, I mean... No, well, of course you don't look the same, no. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, well, oh, I am so sorry about that. Um, I apologize, this, this snowball. Is that your go-to opener? Just kind of launch a snowball at somebody? <laughs> That's not how you roll? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was... I was just trying to get your attention to ask what you were doing here. <laughs> no, I was just taking out the tractor, a little winter maintenance. That's right. No, I know what you were doing. I, just what you were doing here on, on this farm. Oh! No, I, I work here on this farm. Last few years, I've been working here with Randall. Oh. Yeah, actually co-running it, pretty much. I stay right there in the guest cottage. I live here. Yeah, I've been just kind of keeping an eye on the place. He asked me to until the, uh, the new owner figured out what they're going to do with it. Which I'm guessing is you. Yeah. Temporarily, anyway. All right. Um, you got to be freezing. Let's get you in the house. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? No, I can do it. You're fine. You just do whatever you were doing. I know you've got a lot of work to do, I'm sure. I will, uh, I'll go in and get myself settled. No problem. Absolutely, of course. Yeah, you go, you go get, uh, acclimated to being back. And then, uh, I'll just come by in the morning and I'll tell you everything you need to know about the farm and... I don't know, maybe we'll grab a bite to eat or something. Oh, well, but, yeah, that would be great. Thank you. All right, well, I'll be in the workshop if you need me. You just, yeah, just, just knock. Snowball not required. It's not no, required. no, of course, yeah. <laughs> no more snowballs, I promise. All right, uh, well, uh, good to see you. Again. Yeah, yeah, really good seeing you, too. Yeah. Bye. Oh, 
My darling Janie, I imagine you must be pretty confused right now. Why would Randall leave me his farm? Well, I'll tell you. In the years I've lived here, I never saw anyone light up at this place more than you did. I know you haven't seen it much since you've grown and made your way in the world, but there's never been a doubt in my mind. The farm belongs to you. I know it's unlikely you'll decide to keep it. If anyone knows how difficult it is to run this place, it's yours truly. But I do have a favor to ask you. I'd love to see the old barn host Winter Wonderland one last time and give this beloved town tradition the send-off it deserves. It's a lot to ask, and I know you're so busy, but... If you have the time and inclination to stay through Christmas and help make it happen, it would mean a lot. Know that I am very proud of you and the person you have become. Whatever you decide, I understand. With love, Randall. hoping I'd hear from you. I'm sorry. I missed your call earlier. I've been in meetings all day. That's okay. I was just wanting to let you know I made it here in one piece. I missed you today. I am actually at your place right now. Dropping off an early present. You are? I am. It is a postmodern Christmas tree. Well, that's very festive. <laughs> no, I thought you might... Like a little holiday cheer when you get back in a couple of days? Uh, yeah, well, about that, I don't know exactly when I'm going to be back. Really? Is everything okay? Yeah, no, 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 it's, it's fine. It's just that, um, <clears throat> well, Randall left me something. Something big. What? Like a horse? No, like... The farm. The farm? Like, the whole thing? Yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, so what are you gonna do? I mean, I tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I can't run a farm from 200 miles away, right? You know, a fully functioning farm could sell for a lot of money, Jamie. Yeah. Yes, there is that. But, um, uh, well, there's also something else. See, Randall left me this letter, and in the letter, he asked me if I could put on the town festival. A festival? Yeah, he held it every year at his farm, and it's called Winter Wonderland, and it's like this three-day Christmas market that the whole town participates in. It's kind of a big deal out here. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, uh... It would mean that I'd have to stay here until the festival is over, which is Christmas Eve. Oh, so L.A. I know, I know. Listen, I, I know that you really wanted to go to L.A., but look, I, I'm not saying I've made up my mind. I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, hey, I actually have to run. I'm, I'm meeting Bill for drinks. Uh, no, wait a minute. Hold on. You... I'm fine. Look, a couple of days on the farm, you'll be dreaming of a real vacation. I'm not too worried. Okay. I love you. I'll talk to you soon.
So, how's it feel being back? <sighs> Strangely familiar? <laughs> Though definitely different than Manhattan. <laughs> well, I bet. Randall mentioned that you ended up there, not too far from home. Yeah, yeah, but it feels like a different planet. You know, the, the culture, the yeah. architecture, the food, the energy, everything. Well, I don't know about the culture, but the eating here is pretty good, case in point. Oh, is this the old pit stop? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Randall and I used to come here every Saturday morning. We used to just to get the short stack. Oh, good memory. Unfortunately, there's not as many greasy diners in Woodland Falls as there used to be, but the food here is so good, you're gonna love it. <laughs> Thank you. Hope you're hungry. Mm. You're right. Mm. Food's incredible. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. I mean, you should be here during harvest because that's when it's it's literally farm to table. Mm. It's even better. If you can believe it. <laughs> what? No, it, nothing. It's just that I don't know. This is a little funny for me. You know, I haven't seen you since I was 10 years old, and here we sit, just chat away like old friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, we are kind of old. Hey, okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't put me in that category. <laughs> no, all I mean is you're just easy to talk to. Oh. That's really nice of you to say. Thank you. Can I ask your advice on something? Sure. So... Randall left me this letter, and in the letter, he asked me to put on Winter Wonderland this year. Really? What do you mean? Well, you remember how big a deal Winter Wonderland is, right? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a festival. No, no, it's so much more than a festival to so many people. Are you kidding me now? And not just because we're crazy about Christmas around here, but because, I mean, people really rely on it. You know, the tourists come in, and, and they're buying the goods and they're shopping on Main Street. It's a real boost to the local economy every holiday season. And Randall knew that. He, that's why he put it on every year. It's a lot of work, I know, because I helped him do it, but I don't think people are really expecting it to happen. So if you go home and don't do it, you don't have to feel guilty about it. Except for the fact that I'm ignoring my great uncle's last wish. <laughs> Except for that. Yeah. Well, if you do decide to put it on, um, I'd be happy to help you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Just think about it for a little while, but not too long, because there's like about a week left to throw it all together. So. <laughs> no pressure, right? <laughs> mm. Whatever you decide, I understand. You've reached Charles. Leave a message and I'll hang you back. Hey, it's me. Uh, I know that you're probably working, but I just had to say something and I know this means canceling LA and I'm sorry and I hope that you understand, but I'm gonna stay here for Christmas and I'm gonna put on Winter Wonderland. ruins your plans and I'm sorry but it's important I don't understand why do you have to stay can't someone else do it no Charles he he asked me to besides why don't you just cancel your reservation you can come down here it'll be fine it's too late to cancel also I set up a few meetings out there 
trying to expand my client base. And there is the real reason. So, is it safe to assume that you are still going? I have to. No. Charles, I don't understand why you can't come down here with me, but yet you can take a big trip to California? Look, I'll be in L.A. for a week. If you come to your senses, there's a room waiting for you. Okay. All right, Charles. I'll talk to you later. Hey, city girl. Oh, hi. Didn't even see you there. How are you settling in? You, uh, you need anything? Uh, well, uh, I, I was actually just gonna come over and talk to you. So... <laughs> Strong. Uh, <clears throat> No, I was actually going to come over and talk to you later and just tell you that I've decided I'm going to stay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put on Winter Wonderland. Are you serious? Yeah. That's fantastic. I'm, <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. I was, I was really hoping that you would. Oh. Well, <laughs> can't really let down Randall and the entire rest of the town, apparently. <laughs> so, you... You said that you have some experience putting this thing on? Every Christmas since I've been working with Randall. Um, great, great. Well, where do I start? Come with me. Are you cold? <laughs> Come on. Oh. It's not quite as magical as I remember it. <laughs> Well, that's because it's usually cleared out by now. That's the first order of business. We gotta clean this place up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Then we gotta decorate. And we gotta set the vendor stands up, not to mention the petting zoo and the carnival games. We gotta hire a Santa. Wow, okay, that's that's a lot. It's really grown that much, huh? Oh, every Christmas it gets bigger and bigger. You're not feeling in over your head already, are you? Oh. Not at all. Everything is manageable with a plan in place. We just have to follow it step by step, and the first step is letting everybody know that the festival is on. Yeah, absolutely. That that was Randall's area of expertise, so I'm not exactly sure how much I can help you with that. No, 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 it's totally fine. This is what I do, trust me. Huh. But, however, I may need your help because I'd like to get a few more photos for the festival to post online. Oh, yeah, yeah, my sister can help with that. Nicole's got, like, albums full of photos from years past, and I'm heading over to her house tonight for dinner. She still lives here? Yeah. You should come tonight. I would love to see Nicole. Yes, I am in. Great. Oh, you go. Thank you. Think they're gonna recognize me? Well, I uh, I kind of texted everybody and let them know you were coming, so don't be surprised if. Janie Collins. Ow! Oh, my God. It is so good to see you. You too. Wow. Hey, brother. Hey, hey. Come on in. Hey. I believe that you're a deputy. Yeah, so after high school, I went straight into the academy, and I've been making Woodland Falls a safer place ever since. And clearly we need it. It's got one of the lowest crime rates oh. in the county. But how do you think it got that way? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Um, and along the way, I married Rick, and we had a kid. Whoa, wait a minute. You married Rick? Yeah, we're still together. Where is he? Well, he's on the road for work until Christmas, but he's working with Santa to bring back Gracie a special present to open on Christmas morning. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah. So what about you, Esther? Are you still painting? I am. Mom opened up a gallery right in town. Really? Yeah. I would love to see it before I leave. Oh, anytime, my dear. You come on by. So what have you been up to all these years, Janie? Dylan mentioned that you're in the Big Apple now. Yeah, I, I am. I am. Uh, I am working for a company called Knit. We do marketing and brand management for products, place them with influencers, increase their online presence, things like that. I, I have no idea what most of that means, but it sounds really <laughs> interesting. <laughs> no, it is. It is. I promise. It's stressful, and there's not a lot of downtime, but... Um... It is what it is. Mm. And I just wish I could pick the products that I try to sell. I mean, trying to sell energy drinks sometimes is not that fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hear that you are putting on the Winter Wonderland this year. 
And I cannot tell you how much the town is going to appreciate that. Yeah, Dylan said you needed pictures. I mean, I have tons. Why don't we go through the album after we're done eating? That sounds great. Great. Okay. okay. This looks amazing. Thank you so much. Enjoy, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Two full days back, what do you think? It was great. Great. I mean, it's hard to beat Christmas in Woodland Falls. Right? Yeah, I'll admit that. I mean, you should give the rest of the year a shot. Fall here is so spectacular. Mm. You probably don't even remember that, do you? Plus, you can help out with the harvest. I mean, assuming you don't sell the farm, obviously. Right. <sighs> you know, I want to be completely transparent here. I did asked Sydney to put the farm up for sale. Well, um, I kind of thought it was just a matter of time, I guess, anyways. But it's not like we're saying goodbye. You know, we're still going to do the festival. Yeah, no, no, of, of course not, no. Um, Great. Well, I should probably get to bed because we still have tons of work left, so. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, me too. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. You look, um... Yeah, I was up all night working on posts for Winter Wonderland. Oh, Come on in. Okay. Yeah, close door, close door. What is this? Oh, um, I uh, had to do a little grocery shopping for myself this morning. I figured Randall's fridge was still pretty bare, so I uh, I got you some groceries while I was at it. That's sweet. Yeah, no problem. I also got you some great stuff from the farm. Oh. Now this brings back memories. You know, Randall used to walk me around this farm and taught me how to do everything. And I am embarrassed to say I can't remember how to do any of it. I can show you a few things if you want. I'm not doing your chores for you. <laughs> I would never ask you to do that, but you do happen to own the place, albeit temporarily. Mm -hmm. You might enjoy it. Plus, the sooner I finish my chores, the sooner I can help you with Winter Wonderland. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Quid pro quo. Yeah, something like that. Okay. All right, well, what's first? We start by you getting dressed. Oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. I can't thank you enough, Earl, honestly. Your trees are always just so beautiful, but this one has to be the best tree ever. It really does. Well, we always save the best for Randall. Hi. Hey, Janie, come here. Meet Earl. Earl's family has the Christmas tree lot across town. Everybody in Woodland Falls, I mean, everybody buys their trees from this man and his family at the Wyatt Farm. Oh, yeah, the Wyatts. I remember you guys. Didn't you sell honey? Oh, we're still doing the honey. But when my daughter Julie got married, we expanded the operation a bit. Nice. It's, it's nice to see you again. You too. Seriously, though, folks are awful happy to hear that Winter Wonderland is back on. It's a big part of this town, something we really can't afford to lose. The fact that it's good for business doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. I'm glad it's helping. I'm glad it's hey, helping. Earl, you guys ever thought about having a second location? That. I got it. What are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> this is a tree. Yeah. This is a tree. 
Right here, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, here, let me move these boxes. What do you think? Here, let me... That's the spot. That's the mm -hmm. spot right there for sure, yeah. Hey, that was a really nice thing that you did for Earl, I gotta say. You have some scissors? Yeah. He's probably gonna sell twice as many trees when people show up at Winter Wonderland. They see a whole forest of Christmas trees out there. It's just good for business. Plus, it means more traffic for both of us, and we have this pretty little display of Christmas trees right in front of the barn. All for you, George. Thank you very much. You actually made a profit on the deal somehow when they gave you this tree. Well, what can I say? I'm a genius. <laughs> you do have a good head for it. You would make a decent farmer. What? I'm serious. People think it's just like waking up at the crack of dawn and, and doing some heavy lifting or whatever, but you need to have a good business sense, and you do. And by the way, I gotta say, you're not as useless at firm work as I thought you'd be. Thank you? <laughs> I guess you can't take the farm out of the girl. Nope. This work, yes, it is exhausting. But I don't know, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, and it's somehow satisfying. That looks great. That's a nice tree. It's a good tree. It's... It's not a Christmas tree yet. Hmm. You know what? There's some boxes in the basement labeled Christmas. I mean, the tree needs some love. I'll go check. You've been here an entire week, and you're just putting up the Christmas tree now. Well, in my defense, I mean, I was only supposed to be here a few days. Well, lucky for us, those plans fell through. <sighs> oh. Man, that's pretty perfect. Yeah, it is. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, um... Have, have you heard from Sydney about selling? Oh, I'm actually supposed to meet with him tomorrow. You know, I'm hoping that we find a really good buyer. I hope so. I mean, Randall would have loved to keep this farm up and running. He really would have. <laughs> I don't know why he gave it to me. I mean, I haven't stepped foot on a farm in like 20 years. <laughs> um, but listen, I am being serious about it because I know that you know, your home and your job is all tied up in what happens to this place, so... Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. I still, I just don't know why he gave it to me, of all people. Wait. Really? You don't? No, I don't. He was crazy about you, Jenny. He talked about you all the time. He did? Yes, he was... He was so proud of you. I mean, I know you only lived here for 10 years, but those 10 years that you spent visiting him at the farm were, they were like everything to him. I think you were the closest thing to a daughter he ever had. It's Charles. You, um, you gonna answer that? I haven't decided yet. That doesn't sound good. Well, it's just that... The last time we spoke, things got a little... strange. And... Yeah. Uh, you know what? I should probably call him back. Yeah. Right, I'll... I'll, uh, I'll head out and leave you to it. Um, hey. It's been really nice reconnecting with you. Yeah, it has. <laughs> hey, and thanks for the tree. I love it. Good. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye. This is such a good idea. Thank you. I mean, I can't believe Randall never thought to do it. It just seems so obvious now. Uh, what about this one, Mom? Oh, Gracie, that's perfect. Is that the one you want? You sure? Okay, I'll ring it up. Mm. Mrs. Wyatt, we can ring up a six-foot 
tree for 50 bucks. No way. Mrs. Wyatt, you can't keep giving away free trees. It's bad for your business. Please call me Marjorie. And there is no way I'm going to make a deputy pay for a Christmas tree. Mm. Especially when she's your best friend, Janie. And anyway, um, the trees are my son-in-law's business. Earl and I make our money selling honey. <gasps> That's right. You know what? I have still yet to try your honey. In fact, you know what? Dylan should be back any minute. He's probably got some on his truck. Well, you don't have to wait till then, dear. I brought some with me for my lunch. Ooh. Now, you just give me your hand, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh! Mmm. <laughs> Audrey, dare I say that might be the best honey that I have ever had? <laughs> That's our apple blossom. It's one of my favorites. But just you wait till you try the rosemary. We've been perfecting that recipe for 30 years. It's all natural, mind you. Wait a minute. It tastes like this and it's organic? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Why don't you sell this in health food stores? We don't get too far out of Woodland Falls. But, but that's just fine with me, because I get to see the joy on people's faces as they taste it. And you can't put a price on that. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Mm. There, there's Uncle Dylan. Uncle Dylan, hey! look at my tree! Oh, that is a beauty! <laughs> Woo! Wow. Okay, here you go. Hey there. Hey. How'd it go? Great. Great. I feel like I saw half the town this morning. That's just the first load. Wow. Uncle Dylan, is the petting zoo ready? As a matter of fact, the last animals were dropped off this morning. The only problem is we're looking for somebody to give them all a nice warm welcome. But who could do that? I don't know. Mom, can we? Please? I suppose I ought to make sure these animals aren't ferocious. Yes. Yay! You want to come? I was just gonna actually I was gonna check out the barn. I've got a couple of things. No, just keep walking. Oh, hey, Uncle Dylan. Hey, Uncle Dylan. Hey, Uncle Dylan. Hey, Uncle Dylan. There they are! Look at them! Crazy! Bring some food, let's see the camels. Oh, look at them! So cute! Hi! Aren't they so cute? Yes! Aww. So! How have you enjoyed being back? Oh, it's been amazing. Yeah, I have to say, I have loved putting on this festival and being here on the farm, working with Dylan. It's yeah. just, you know, it feels like for once I'm doing something that matters. Yeah, because you are. Yeah. Well, and then there's Charles. And I mean, we get along most of the time. <laughs> I guess it can't be butterflies all the time, right? Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that this trip has just opened my eyes. You know, and, and maybe when I get back to New York City, I'll be able to see things a little more clearly. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Though, you want my two cents? Mm -hmm. I don't think it gets much clearer than Woodland Falls on a starry night. How's it going over there, city girl? <laughs> Good. These guys are hungry. You're very popular. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> they can tell you're from New York. <laughs> okay. All right, Gracie. Wait until you see all of this. Look at this. Look at this. This is your grandma's paintings. And we got some handmade originals right over here. That's right. And we got Wyatt's honey. Oh, so much more, too. Wow, Mom, look at all the cookies. Wow, Gracie. Hey, speaking of cookies, don't we have a special project we need to get home to? Yeah, yeah, we do. But you'll be back tomorrow to help finish setting up, right? We'll be you here. Better. Okay. Night, you too. Good night. Good night. See night. You. Bye, Gracie. Now, Bye. as nice as this looks, uh, there's something else I want to show you. Upstairs, finally. I get to see it? Let's go. <laughs> Close your eyes at the top of the stairs, though. Okay. Hey, <laughs> all right. You can't see, right? You can't no, see through my fingers right now? I can't see. That's why I'm walking like this. Am I going too fast? Well, no, you're okay now. Okay, stop here. Okay. Okay. Now open. I'm going to take my hand. Well, no, I don't want you to open. I'm going to take my hand away. Don't open your eyes, promise? Yes. Okay. Um, 
All right. So I'm going to be right back. Wait a minute. Where are you going? I'll be right back. You're safe. It's fine. I, and I'm going to count to three. When I count to three, um, you're going to open your eyes. Okay? On three. Okay. On three. Ready? One, two, three. Damn. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Did you do this all by yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I just kind of kept it a secret and wanted to surprise you. Wow. You like it? We should go and let the truck. <clears throat> but you did a really good job in here. Mm. Thanks. Thank you for the dance. How'd I do? You're not as good as me. already do a pickup for you how much money do you have well 30 years worth <laughs> thought i'd just bring just a few more you should see the seller might as well live in a hive <laughs> <laughs> uh can you take those to the booth for me please yeah i think i can handle that thank you hey hon mm. <laughs> wow the place looks great janie oh, thank you thank you Hey, are you ready to play Santa tomorrow? Oh, you bet. Luckily, I fit the part. I got the belly of a man who stopped farming but kept eating honey. <laughs> Spit an image. <laughs> well, we'd better go help Dylan set up. Shall we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Uh, well, um... Poor Gracie spent all day yesterday making cookies. She wanted to sell them to raise money for school, only... They're disgusting. Well, I mean, I'm sure they're not that bad. May I? <clears throat> I knew it. No, we can fix it. No, we can't. Mom already tried helping me. And look what happened. I think I made things worse. I, mean, I can barely boil water. All right. I know what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to start over. And we're going to make the best cookies that you have ever tasted in your entire life. I hope 
Okay, this batch is cooled. I think it's time for a taste test. Ooh, it's to you. You won. Right. Thank you. Ready? Mm. 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 Now that's a cookie. You know what we call them? Do you remember? I don't. Friendship cookies. Oh, right. Friendship cookies. Mm. I'm going to make so much money for school. Yes, you are. <laughs> Jane, you in there? Yeah, door's open. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Hey, whoa. You guys have been busy. Uh, so, how's everything coming along at the barn? Good. Start to wind out, but uh, pretty much ready for tomorrow. Uncle Dylan, come try one. Yes. Yes. Mmm. So good. And by the way, exactly how I remember them. You don't remember them. I do so. Oh, really? What are they called? You don't think I know? No. Friendship cookies. <laughs> okay, I'm impressed. Yeah. I love these. Are you kidding me? So good. Uh, Mom, just give me one second. Mm. Mm. All right. Put me to work. What can I do? You could roll up some more dough. Yeah, I can. Absolutely. Bring in the muscle to roll out the dough. I see how it is over here. Can I eat the dough? Mom says it gives you worms. I will not be eating the dough. <laughs> okay, good news. Just got off the phone with Mom. She has some old paintings to donate to Winter Wonderland. Great. Yeah, you apparently didn't answer her text. I did forget that, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Anyways, she wants someone to swing by the gallery tonight to pick them up. Okay, I'll fire up the truck. Unless you want to go. Uh, well, we still have all these cookies to decorate. I can handle the cookies. You take a break. You know, I could go with you. I'd love to see your gallery anyway. You know, we can make it a fun girls' night out. You know, that does sound kind of nice. Okay. I mean, I'd be crazy to turn down free babysitting. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, hey, let's go before he changes his mind. Let's go. Hi. Hi. That did not take long, that decision. All right, you and me, you ready? All right, what shape? Candy canes. Candy canes. Oh, this is great, Esther. I can't believe you painted all of these. Well, that was a couple of decades worth. Yeah, but I've been meaning to clear out more space in the gallery for a while now. The gallery only features works from local artists. Mama loves to give them a home. I think that is great. Are any of these your favorite? Oh, uh, well, this one. beautiful thank you <laughs> i finished it about a week before you arrived where i painted it isn't far from your farm really yeah well i suppose i should start uh, arranging things in the booth would you girls bring the rest of them in right behind you mom and i'll bet she thought this town had no culture <laughs> <laughs> and this is nice you know, I can't remember the last time I went out with a friend. Ugh, me neither. Really? Yes. You know, I guess it's my fault, though. I haven't really made time for friends. Well, thank you for making the time for me. This has been so nice. No, it's my pleasure. Although, you should really be thinking Dylan, because he's watching Gracie. Yeah, yeah, he's okay, I guess. For an annoying older brother. <laughs> <laughs> he seems like he's really good with kids, though. Yeah, yeah, he is. Have you ever thought about having kids at all? Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I definitely thought about it. And I am approaching the age at which it gets a little bit more pressing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's moments like today, you know, when I'm baking cookies with Gracie and I remember all those moments with Randall and I think, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I want. I see it so clearly. And what does Charles want? No, I think he doesn't want to talk about it. Um, he always changes the subject, and turns it back to our careers and how much it costs. And I don't know, maybe it's a moot point. It shouldn't be. I mean, it's something you want. It should at least be an option, right? Janie, you deserve to have the life you want. Wherever that is.
going to stand there? You can have some breakfast. I'm sorry, I just need a moment to uh, process the fact that you actually got up before me. Make sure I wasn't dreaming. Uh, this is what you dream about? <laughs> oh, I have to tell you, I had the best sleep that I've ever had, like, in my entire life. Because you have been working so hard, I finally caught up to you. Uh, I don't know. I think it's more than that. I think it's when you spend your day doing something meaningful, you just you just sleep better. You know, like for instance, I would never be able to do this in New York. I, I, it's just go, go, go. In fact, I don't even eat breakfast. I don't know. And somehow this just seems natural for me. Hey, any interest in checking the moisture levels of the grain silos with me? Uh, well, now that that does sound like fun, uh, but I have I have a better idea. Why don't you have breakfast with me? Consider it like the calm before the storm. Hmm. Green silos can probably wait. I honestly don't think the first day of Winter Wonderland has ever had such an incredible turnout. It's, it is. It's incredible. Well, I mean, Winter Wonderland is incredible. We just had to spread the word a little more effectively. Hmm. Oh, speaking of spreading the word, I think Marjorie needs a little help. Mary hmm. I'll be right back. Yeah, you go work your magic. Morning, Marjorie. How are you doing? Hi, Jenny. Um, I'm doing good. Having a bit of a slow start. Mm -hmm. Must be too early in the day for honey. Oh, no, it's never too early in the day for honey. Mm -hmm. It'll pick up soon. Yeah. Do you mind if I expedite things a little bit? Oh, no, I suppose not, but please don't go to any trouble on my account. Oh, no, it's no trouble. Hey, do you have any, uh, um, Crackers or something like a baguette or something you just cut up on me really fast. Yeah, I can put some in the other. Okay, great. Sure. Oh, Marjorie. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you put some honey on this cracker yes. for me? Okay. Load it up. Wow. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh. Is that rosemary honey? Oh, Oh, yeah, but yes, it's one of our specialties. Oh, it's incredible. This rosemary honey is just, oh, how are you doing? You should try this. Get in there. Oh, yes. Try them all and die. Oh. Oh, wow, you're not kidding. And, and this is rosemary. Yes, uh, and that's apple blossom, clover, and lilac. You guys should try this. <laughs> okay, uh... That was really, really impressive. I, mean, I didn't do anything. Her, she has a really great product. Basically sells itself. I guess it's easy to market something when you love it. Don't sell yourself short. Look at her. She's so happy she's busy now. And by the way, she deserved it. <laughs> you can let yourself feel good about that. Pretty good first day. That was the best first day of Winter Wonderland I've ever been to. And tomorrow, it's going to be even better. You did amazing. No, well, not, not just me. I mean, this was a group effort. The town, you guys, especially you. Mm. <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys, but I need to get home. Yeah, me too. Uh, so I'll see you guys tomorrow? Absolutely. Okay. Great job today. Good night. So, seems like you had a pretty good day today. Oh, yeah? 
And what is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Nothing. Nope. Just, well, you and Janie were basically joined at the hip, and not just today. Oh. Been like that for a week now. I am just doing my job. Tough to avoid living on the farm. Oh, that's not what I mean, and you know it. What's going on between you two? Nothing. Oh, Dylan, come on. You're my brother. I know when you like someone. And Janie? I mean, there's never been a Janie before. No. There really hasn't. What, in two days? It's going to be Christmas Eve, and the festival will be over, and Janie will be on her way back to Manhattan, so... And you're fine with that. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about it? What, am I supposed to get her to stay here and keep the farm? Okay, well, what's the alternative? You say nothing and then probably never see her again? Dylan, you have two more days with her. Do you really want them to be your last? No, it's a little kitschy. Ah, <gasps> Charles. Sorry. The door was unlocked. I let myself in. What are you doing here? I know I should have called. But after our last talk, I decided I don't want to wait so long to see you again. So I cut the trip short and booked a flight up here. Are you happy to see me? Yes, of course I'm happy to see you. I'm just... I'm surprised. <laughs> Well, if you think that's a surprise, wait until you see this. What is this? That's an offer from the farm. What? <laughs> You're not going to believe this. One of the guys I met in L.A. is a developer. He builds condo developments all over the country. I happened to show him your post about Windsor Wonderland and the real estate listing. And he said it was interesting. Is that the right number? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Way above asking. He's highly motivated. That's a cash offer, Janie. He's looking to move ASAP. Wow. <laughs> uh, sorry, this is just... It's a lot to take in. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. We should get this over to Randall's lawyer first thing in the morning. Have him have a look at it. Um... Uh, I, do you think I could just have a little bit of time to think about it? Uh, sure. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but I mean, this is what you came here for, right? Sell the farm, get Randall's things in order, except for finishing the festival, which I am totally willing to save for, by the way. <laughs> Your work here is done. finally get back to our lives. <laughs> you want a tea? Yeah, thank you. Oh, hey, we got a couple more boxes that just arrived, okay? You are? I've been trying to call you. Hey, yeah, I, I was just, um... I was getting a little worried. I mean, missing out on some farm work is one thing, but when you were late coming here... Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, I just need to talk to you for a minute. Me too. Actually, so 
Uh, come with me. Okay. First, you have to open this. Okay, Dylan. I know it's a couple days early, I get that, but it's really gonna help um, illustrate what I have to say to you. But I really need to tell you that... Well, there you are. Hi. Hot apple cider is requested. Thank you. Um, Charles, this is Dylan. Dylan, this is Charles. Dylan works on the farm, and he's really helped me put together Winter Wonderland. Oh, great. Nice to meet you, Dylan. You're well done with everything. This is beautiful. Must be bittersweet, though, huh? One last hurrah. You know, bittersweet is actually a really good word for it, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Charles, do you mind if I speak with Dylan in private really quick? We just need to discuss some farm things, and, and I'll be right back. Yeah, sure. I'll hang out here. Sure. So, what do you think? Is this, um... Is this happening? Well, I, I don't know. I just got the offer yesterday from Charles. And trust me, I didn't sleep all night thinking about it. This, this is, um, this is for condo development. Uh, look, I, I know it's not ideal, you know, and that, that you had a bit of an awkward position with your job and your cottage. Jenny, I'm, I'm not thinking about me here. I'm, I'm thinking about you. Is, is this really what you want? Uh, well, uh, let's be realistic here. I mean, I think it was always a long shot that I was going to run a farm. <laughs> you know, I think even Randall knew that. But cashing out like this, do you really think this is, this is what Randall wanted? Hold on, cashing out? No, wait a minute. I didn't ask for this farm to be just dropped in my lap. It actually really complicated my life. I was perfectly happy in New York before any of this. Are you saying that you haven't been happy since you've been back? Are you saying that you haven't, you haven't felt anything? Here. It's not that simple. You know what, you're right, this is, this is, um, this is your decision. I got no right, I got no right to be like this. I really don't. Um, I know you're really anxious to get back to New York. I understand that. So, um, don't worry about the festival, because I can finish that up myself. I can help you. No, I'm serious, Jeannie, I'm serious. Really, don't feel badly about this. You go. You go home. I, I just have to leave. Oh, that's all right. Dylan can help us pack up later, but see you tomorrow, right? Oh. Where are you going? Well, um, <clears throat> I've just got to go home, but I live close from here, so I'll come back and see you, all right? Promise? cookies, okay? You. I miss my friend, okay? So, we need to keep in touch. Don't worry. I won't let you get away again. Remember, I'm a deputy. I can find you. <laughs> Come here. Call me when you get home, okay?
All right. That ought to do it, Ms. Collins. You are no longer the owner of Collins Farms. You know, the deadline for getting this to the buyer isn't until January 1st. If you like, I could take my sweet time making a visit to the post office. No. Make the deal. All right. Well, then it was a pleasure doing business with you, Ms. Collins. Hope we see each other again soon. You too, Sydney. Take care. Bye-bye. I take it you don't want a cappuccino? No. I would like the peace and quiet I had at the farm. Oh, shoes off, please. How very zen of you. I just wanted to swing by on my way to work. Say hi. Mm -hmm. I brought your breakfast. Oh, I'm starving. It's a yogurt bowl with chia seeds and blueberries. Healthy. Hey, do you have any plans today? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stop by the office and see what I missed. You know, I was thinking of uh, grabbing lunch at that Thai place around the corner. I wanna meet back here, say, one. Oh. Yeah. All right. I'm off. I'll see you soon. Thanks for the... Hey, Frank. Thanks for returning the call. <laughs> Were you off in such a hurry? I'm sorry, Sydney. I uh, I lost track of time. I gotta go up in Winter Wonderland. I just been uh, I just been a little distracted lately. Mm, I understand. Well, the change is coming your way soon. I was actually about to drop Jenny's paperwork in the mail. Well, I can tell you, it was not an easy decision for her to make. I know. I know. It's just the thought of her running the farm. It was a bit of a long shot. Anyway, I just I really hope that she doesn't regret it. You know. Anyway, I gotta get going. See you soon. See you soon. This is a big one, Janie. Dinosaur's a premium client, and this new line of drinks is hoping to expand into a completely untapped market. Mm -hmm. Kids? A whole new set of flavors aimed directly at kids. So I guess juice boxes are going extinct, huh? Oh, that is why you are on this account. I am going to pitch that as a possible tagline to Bill. What's wrong? I thought you'd be over the moon about this. No, no, no. I'm, I'm fine. I'm just, um, just getting acclimated to being back. That's all. Of course. Go have a good Christmas Eve. The old dinos will be waiting for you. I know Randall is proud of you. I hope this helps you remember the best winter wonderland Brooklyn Falls has ever seen. Merry Christmas, still. all this um, <clears throat> it's a Christmas gift from Dylan 
that bad, huh? No, actually, it's... It's perfect. Charles, would you come sit by me, please? You know what, if it's all right by you. I'm gonna stay here. I need to be honest with you. I gotta be honest with me. You know, three years ago when I moved here to the city, I loved this place. I loved hanging out with you, working for Elle, the hustle and bustle of it all. It just, it fueled me. But I think it, it's that pace that didn't allow me to see that none of that is making me happy anymore. And it wasn't until I got back to Randall's farm I understood that that... That's what makes me happy. And I respect you, I do. I respect your work ethic. And I don't want to change you. Because I know that someday some woman is going to come and she's going to want to do all of the things that you want to do and be your partner. I'm moving back to Woodland Falls. Throw away your career, become a farmer? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. But I don't feel like I'm throwing away anything. I just, uh, I'm rebranding. You've been pulling away for a while now. change you either, Janie. Go on. Get out of here. If you're lucky, you might be able to get the farm back. Please do not mail those papers. Repeat, do not mail those papers. Thank you. Bye. What? Oh, serious? Time for this? Ah, uh, where's the registration? Ah, uh, where is it? Do you have any idea how fast you were going? Oh, to call. What are you doing back here? I know I never should have left. I don't know what I was thinking. It just took me going all the way back to New York City to finally figure out it doesn't feel like home anymore. Are you saying that Woodland Falls does feel like home? Yeah. Yeah, and look, I know I was speeding, and I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to make it Winter Wonderland before it closes because I, uh, I need to speak to Dylan. Well, I mean, I could let you off with a warning. And it'd be a real shame for you to come all this way just to get there too late. And I do have a responsibility to serve and protect my community. Okay. You need a police escort? Yes. What I thought. What's up? Thank you. Come on. Love you.
I'm so sorry. Are you still thinking about Janie? Uh, no. No, of course not. I was just thinking about um, all the... Uh... Yeah. I was still thinking about Janie. It's okay, Uncle Dylan. It's okay. You're the best. There's the official end of another winter wonderland. You were amazing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can I, uh, can I have your attention, please? Y'all look so fantastic. You really do. I love seeing the smiles on your faces. Thank you so much for coming and supporting another Winter Wonderland. So many of us have had so many memories coming here year after year. And we're going to hold on to those memories, really, in our hearts. Um, because, unfortunately, this year... Dylan! Dylan, hold on. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Um, can I borrow that? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Do you mind? Thank you. Oh, and then here. Just hold that. Don't open it. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Um, for those of you who may not know me, my name is Janie Collins, and this farm was my great uncle Randall's, and he loved Winter Wonderland. So I just wanted to take a moment just to say thank you to all of the residents of Woodland Falls and to all of you visitors, because we can't do this without you. So thank you. And you know, it might only happen just one time a year, but isn't it nice just to slow down and think about the things that are really important in life? And uh, speaking about important, I have to say thank you to someone that kept my great uncle's dream alive and who helped me every step of the way, who loves this town more than anything and just made me realize how wonderful it is. How wonderful you all are. Thank you, Dylan, from the bottom of my heart. All right, everyone. Well, I guess the only thing left to say is Merry Christmas, and I will see you all here next year for Winter Wonderland. I'm a little confused. I know. I know you must be. Because you came back. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I went back to the city and I thought about a lot and I just I thought about what I wanted my life to mean and and then I just I realized that I've been living a lie I mean I don't do any of the things that truly make me feel good you know that make me happy it's not until I came here to this farm and you know what you you were the one who who helped me see that my life has all of this untapped potential. And, and I finally realized what I want in my life. And not only that, but who I want in my life. And I want to be on this farm. And I want to be here with you because you make me happy.
Well, um, there isn't anything that would make me happier than that. But I can't let you walk away from everything that you've worked so hard. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry about that. I've thought about that. Just hear me out. So I've always wanted to work for myself. And you know I want to have clients that I'm proud of. So I mean, I'm sure there are tons of people in Woodland Falls that could use my help. But I think the most important thing is that I'm finally doing this on my terms. But, but what about the fuck? Well, I just happen to have the best lawyer ever. Sydney didn't turn in the papers. Because someone tipped him off that I might regret it one day, so. But I think the most important thing is, is that I'm going to be really busy starting this new venture of mine. So I'm going to need someone to run the farm. And I was just thinking that maybe that person could be you. Nothing would make me happier. I think it's time you open that present. Show me how this works. <laughs> 